Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Matt Modai with Dodge Game. And what we're gonna do in this video, we're just gonna bet some more baseball. Uh, so we have some baseball best bets that were posted yesterday. Now that the more lines have been posted today, I'm recording this in the morning, just gonna bet some more baseball. Uh, before I get into it, I know I mentioned this at the top of every video. I wanna keep mentioning it as well, the Dodge Game Discord for those of you who might have missed it. Uh, the Discord was launched about a week ago at this point, maybe a little bit over a week. Um, and it's pretty cool. It's like a, you know, it's a, it's a sports betting community Assuming those of you watching this video are sports bettors, um, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a community for sports bettors. We have some free stuff. We have some paid stuff as well that I'll get into. Uh, the, the free picks is pretty much any pick you see posted here on YouTube or posted on social media, something like that. Uh, the trophies is where we post our biggest wins. Uh, the rule, of course, is they had to have been posted somewhere in the Discord prior. prior. Uh, obviously, you know, we can't brag about something that wasn't even available for people to tail. So any trophies are our biggest hits posted somewhere in the Discord. Positive EV betting strategies for people like Corey to post his um, baseball positive EV betting strategy that's been really, really profitable for him. Um, the paid stuff is picks centric. Also included in the paid section is all the discussion. So um, if you did want to pay for our more expert picks, you know, like the, the um, picks you see here on the YouTube video, they're just one or a couple that we place a day. The expert picks, we have, you know, 10 plus, depending on the day. Now that MLB's back, probably over 10. Um, we separated it between prize picks and just regular expert picks. Expert picks is just everything under the sun. That's, you know, MLB, WNBA, when football season starts, uh, basketball, all that stuff. Prize picks is prize picks specific. Um, of course, we are tracking everything in this Google Sheet. Uh, the profit tracking is obviously incredibly important to understand whether we're, whether we're profitable or not and how we're doing. Um, once I am done with the videos and stuff in the morning, I um, update everything for the day before and then I post it in this general chat. So the link for this spreadsheet, as well as the link um, for the Discord itself is in the description of the video. Uh, just look at the first four lines, those are the most important ones. Uh, and if you wanna sign up, excuse me, if you wanna upgrade, to premium, it's very easy. You just click this upgrade chat bot and then you can decide if you want expert or prize picks. Um, but regardless, I would recommend um, at least signing up for the, uh, the free part of it and just check it out, see what you like. Use this sheet to track our loss, as you can see right now. Not updated for yesterday, up 17 units in expert picks, up just under eight units in prize picks. Have had a pretty rough streak recently, but luckily we had some pretty massive hits that were still up eight units. So total up about 25. So for you, $2,500, or excuse me, for your $100 betters for unit sizing, we're up about 2,500 bucks. So like I said, definitely recommend checking it out. But for this video, we're gonna bet some baseball. And I found a play here that I really, really liked. And what we're looking at is the first half run line in the Athletics versus uh, Detroit Tigers game. So in terms of unit sizing, this is close to a um, McSlam. This is a four unit play. So about 100 bucks for me. So let me just place this bet for 100 bucks plus 105 odds, and we are good to go. So bet has been placed. There we go. Bet has been placed. So now let me add it to my bet tracker, and then let's just chat about it. Um, number one, I've had this question pop up in a couple of videos. A unit is just 1% uh, of your bankroll. So if you're unsure of um, like what I'm referring to when I say units, it's just the sizing is just supposed to be 1% of your bankroll. So um for me, my unit size is 25 bucks, so four units is 100 bucks. Um, all you need to do is just understand what your bankroll is that, you want to, that you're comfortable dedicating to betting on sports, and then you can get a unit size from there. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, hit me up in the comments and we can figure that out. But for this play specifically, it looks, looks like a couple other ones popped up that I might have to look into. Um, so the Athletics minus a half, first half run line, basically are they winning at the end of five innings is what this one comes down to. Plus 105 odds is what I bet it at on Tipico. The Ashtam line prices this at minus 111. Uh, with the VIG removed, it's priced at about minus 103, minus 104. Only 14 cents in market width, which is really, really good. And then equates to a profit margin of 4.35%. Um, couple things to note here. I'm sure everybody is aware of this at this point, but if you're not, uh, the Ashtam line, this line here, is pulled from the most accurate sports book in the world in terms of pricing odds. Uh, they accept sharp action. They accept money from a bunch of different countries. They have a wider user base. They have higher limits. So these lines here are generally going to be the most efficient in terms of what markets should truly be priced at. That's kind of how this makes sense. It's the most efficient betting market, the most accurate representation of a market. Um, 
But before you can do anything, it's important to remove the big. The big is just the juice that sportsbooks price odds. It's how they make their money. Um, the way it works is, so for like a standard minus 110 on each way, which I guess we're not seeing one of those here, but standard minus 110 on each way like this right here for the WNBA, right? If I bet 100 bucks on the over 159 and a half and someone else bets 100 bucks on the under 159 and a half, no matter what, the sports book is going to profit $10 from that interaction, right? If I win, I get $9 in profit. If I lose, I lose all 100. So that's how they make their money, right? By charging a VIG. So in order to get an accurate representation of what the lines are being priced at, what they truly view a market at, you just have to remove the big. Uh, market width here is really important. Um, anything that is 25 and below is a good number. Anything that is 15 and below is a really tight market that's close to mixed lamb worthy. Um, and all this number is, is just calculating the difference between these two numbers. So because it's two minuses, 11 plus three equals 14. This has 14 cents in market width. The logic here is that the closer these two numbers are together, the more confident in what Ajdan is and what they're pricing their lines at. So 14 is really good, really tight market. All in all, equates to a profit margin of 4.35%, like I mentioned. This number, of all the numbers I mentioned, is probably the most important. Um, this can be viewed as your mathematical profit margin, can also be viewed as your percent edge over the sports book. Uh, basically, the way this makes sense is for every $100 bet on this play, I could figure to make $4.35. Now, a couple things to explain with that. Number one, um, the four dollars and thirty-five cents. That just means um, okay. So sorry. It, if I win the bet, I get all the profit. If I lose the bet, I lose all my risk. So this four dollars and thirty-five cents is your theoretical mathematical profit margin. If this game was played, you know, a bunch of different times. If we lived in a simulation, this was an MLB the Show game, and they just simulated this match. If I bet a hundred bucks on this play, over time, I would figure to make four dollars and thirty-five cents. So um, you'll notice that as you continually track this, your expected profit margin starts to equal your real profit margin over time. So don't get discouraged by this $4.35. Um, a, it's just one bet. So if you're placing multiple bets a day, this $4.35 turns into 50, 100 per day. Multiply that out by a week, by a month, and you kind of understand. And then also this bet will be decided today at 5.05, or at the end of this game, which starts at 5.05 Eastern, or uh, Mountain Time, 7.05 Eastern. So um, it's not like typical investments where you have to wait a long time before it gets realized. This will literally realize today. And then the last thing, and this is really, really important, is just looking for um, discrepancies between all the books. So this, if we're just looking at this blindly, right, we're betting on the athletics minus a half. What stands out here? Plus 105? Every other book has this for minus money. The closest a book has is minus 115. We're getting this for plus 105. So it's pretty. It's a pretty big outlier and it shows me that this is just a mispriced line that we should take advantage of, which is exactly what I did. So lock this one in for 100 bucks, as you can see here, once this loads. Yeah, 100 bucks, athletics, 0.5, um, run line, first half. And that's gonna be it. So betting on outliers is really important in terms of um, you know, vari uh, limit eliminating variants and becoming profitable in the long run. Positive EV betting is great. Betting on uh, outliers like this is even better. It just makes your uh, bets even more confident and more likely to end up beating the closing line over time. So that's going to be it for this play, the Athletics minus a half. And that's going to be it. That's going to be my official uh, MLB betting pick for today. Athletics minus a half, first half run line, plus 105 on Tipico. Let me know if you're tailing. I would love to hear it. Uh, but also, like I said, recommend joining the IGM Discord. Um, it's a really helpful tool for, for sports bettors trying to just kind of invest in their betting education and learn about stuff. Link to this, link to the profit sheet is in the description of the video. So sign up, but that's going to be it. So I appreciate you guys watching and have a good one.